Okay, hi YouTube, it's Ben from the photography team here with another video. This time I'm talking about um, our move, not only from Fuji to Sony, but at the same time we move from Lightroom to Capture One Pro uh, version 11. Um, just wanna talk about our experience in moving to that, um, a couple of things that we've seen uh, that might help you out, um, especially if you're using a, a Mac. Um, also, I'm now doing these videos with a nice, field monitor that was sent to us. Um, I'll put the details in the description. Um, it, these type of things, are, a field monitor really helps. You've kind of got a quick glance to look at what's going on, making sure your face is still in the um, in the AF and things like that. So it's gonna really help us. Um, so let's get into Capture One. Uh, the reasons why we moved to Capture One, um, how they're treating our Sony files, etc. So Capture One's always been a kind of unknown to us. We have dabbled with it, and the stuff we did dabble uh, was probably back using Canon files and probably Fuji files. Um, always remember liking the color abilities with Capture One. Um, and there's a, a big reason why we've moved to it now, because we do think it really, really does render the Sony files nice. But that color option um, in Capture One is, is absolutely brilliant. Uh, and there's hundreds of videos out there about uh, you know, how to use Capture One and what it offers and things like that. So I'm not gonna go into that, um, but let's just show you, uh, or let me just talk to you about the, the issue we instantly had when we moved to it. Um, we loaded it on, we paid for the Sony version, which is 90 quid in the UK um, and to be honest that's that's next to nothing when you think about paying out for Lightroom on a subscription basis um, so we've got we've grabbed that that gave us two computers to use it on um, we installed it and we, we instantly got a couple of errors along the lines of um, couldn't create a recipes folder and couldn't create a keywords folder and it was a permissions issue and I remember when I updated Lightroom with the Mac that was getting some kind of permissions issue as well. So I don't know whether it's something that Mac has changed and, and Apple have decided to update the firmware uh, or it, it is just coincidental with these two bits of software. Um, we kind of ignored the errors and they did come up every time we opened Capture One, um, but it didn't really seem to actually affect the functionality too much until we then decided that we wanted to export a file that had layers on it. That's when we noticed it just, it, the queue, and there's a queue when you export out and process a recipe. It was just not working, but if you chose a, a file that hadn't got layers, it was working fine. So you kind of think to yourself, um, okay, there's an error with recipes, perhaps this is linked. Try to Google it, I really didn't find anything about it, um, so in the end, I followed, I looked into the, there's a little a panel, events panel that comes up, looked into it a bit further and it gave me the file path, which is um, your library on your Mac and then goes into application support and capture one. Um, so I went into there and I actually changed the permissions. So you right click on the folder, the capture one folder, change the permissions to allow everybody, um, I think it is in staff, something like that, to read and write the files. Um, I then closed Capture One and reopened it, looked in that file again, and it had, it had actually made a load of folders in there with recipes and keyword information. So that's definitely the fix. If you've got a Capture One on the Mac um, and you're getting this issue with recipes and can't export um, files with um, layers in, uh, that is your fix. Find that folder. It'll be on your library, so you have to go to your finder, go to the go, go to, type in the library. Again, you can Google this stuff, um, and then find your application support folder, the Capture One, just to amend the permissions, and then Capture One can actually write the file it needs into there. Uh, and that's worked lovely for us, and that's fixed it. The other thing we're using uh, with Lightroom, and we were hoping to use with Capture One, was the loop deck. Um, and absolutely love the loop deck. Since we made our own presets in Lightroom and got the loop deck, I can pretty much go through a wedding in a couple of days and have the whole thing edited. And that is just 
Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, was a little bit disheartened when we had Capture One and thought uh, it's not going to work because I really like the Loop Deck. Um, but they've on their new software, they're supporting Capture One, which is great. Had loaded it in and I, it, I was twisting buttons and it wasn't doing anything. So kind of thought, well, I know it's in this beta, beta, how you pronounce it. Um, and they released yesterday, I think it was, two, version 2.3. Downloaded that, loaded it in, and it kind of guided me to what I hadn't changed on Capture One, which was the keyboard shortcut settings. That needed to be changed to Loop Deck, um, and now it works. Um, and I've got exposure, I've got um, white balance and things like that. The, the only annoyance with it is when I change it, it jumps to that panel. And I in Capture One, you can make your own panel of tools, uh, and it just didn't like that at all um it had really gone crazy and, and the beauty again with with the field monitor i had this issue last time bear with me is my exposure went crazy because my monitor's turned off so i'm glad i've got a field monitor i need to change the time on that um so yeah it, it's it you turn your exposure and it jumps panel and exposure one there but it won't use if you make a panel of your tools it won't use that panel uh, which is really annoying because I kind of have them all set out I want to. I know it's beta software, so they're going to iron some of these things out. Uh, I think one of the things I, I've noticed that the whites doesn't actually program to anything, and it would be nice for that to be programmed to brightness. Um, but these are little things. But it was great to have it back again, uh, and the Loop Deck is working. And I've only got the Loop Deck 1. Um, I haven't got the new Plus version, so... Capture One Loop Deck with so many files is looking really nice. So just to touch on while we have gone to it, we think it renders the Sony RAW files really nice, really crisp, really sharp. The colors straight out of camera, I think are just really nice. Um, but that color editor that you have with Capture One, the ability to layer uh, and do masks and things like that is absolutely brilliant. Uh, and for wedding photography, I just find in it especially playing with skin tones, a uh, really nice feature. Um, with Lightroom, you have the HSL sliders, but you're kind of governed to those colors they've given you, where with Capture One, you can kind of select a color, choose what range between that color. So if it's a green, perhaps you want to spread it to a few more tones of green, or you want to concentrate it. And you can edit its um, hue, saturation, and, and its lightness, they call it. Um, but if you choose something like skin tone, you can uniformity do that. So there is the ability to say, let's create a mask over the couple, just highlighting their skin tones. You can refine the mask and that works actually really well and it will, it will close down sort of round edges you may have gone off their face. And then you can unify the actual skin tones together so if you've got sort of patchy skin tones where it's um, tan marks or makeup or something like that, you can start unifying the hue and the saturation of it. And it works really well. Um, and I would suggest if you've not looked at Capture One or those type of tools, then, then go and grab them. Or at least have a Google, um, get on YouTube, watch some videos. Um, and if it's something you are interested in, I'd be happy to do a demonstration of how we're you know, using it, um, but we're really new to using it, it, you know, complete novices in some respect, um, as with, the, you know, the Sony files and things like that, so um, it's something to bear in mind, we're, we're not experts, but we're certainly finding it is really good. Um, so, yeah, Sony files on Capture One um, with that Loop Deck is a really nice mix, um, really, really getting on with it. Uh, and I think once we get into it and hopefully Loop Deck's updated a bit, uh, and then perhaps we'll do a video on how we're using all of that together and the way we're editing and what we're getting out of it. Um, if that's something you'd like to see, let us know in the comments below. Um, give us a, a subscribe, that would be great. Um, you know, we, we don't do this by earning great you know, out of it, we, we don't, we're not sponsored, you know, we, we don't have any of that. It's just we really like sharing how we're, we get on with stuff and, and why we're doing it. Um, we've had a few things sent to us. Nathan's recently reviewed a bag. I so said I've got the field monitor on a camera at the moment. I'm now testing, um, which has kind of helped already with that thing. 
going off as the last video did. So um, I'll do a, be doing a review on that soon as well. Um, I'm going to stop babbling now. I can see I've been talking for 10 minutes. So I'll get this video done and we'll hopefully see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. I've been Ben and you've been watching the photography team.